hi everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you a bookshelf tour so i have finally cleaned up my bookshelves a bit the lights are a mess so you're gonna have to mind that i know that annoys some people including myself it's annoying me but i do have some new hooks i just haven't done them yet so um but i thought i would still film this bookshelf tour because it's been long awaited it needs to be done and so i'm gonna finally do it because i don't normally clean up my bookshelves like i I'm very good at piling books on the front, uh, but I cleaned it all up. So hopefully it'll stay like that for a while. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'm going to show you my bookshelves and I really hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so on my top shelves, I have the Pretty Little Life series and the Shopaholic series. Um, I am very short, so I can't reach up here. <laughs> but um, I uh, the tabs, if you are wondering, means that I haven't read them yet. In case you wonder what the tabs mean, I got the idea from Sarah Crowley, so thank you. <laughs> um, but I thought it was a really good idea, and it's just nice to look at my bookshelves and be like, I haven't read that yet. I do have to update some because I bought some new books recently, but I just haven't got around to that yet. Then I got the Sherlock Holmes series and the Harry Potter series up here, and I've got some decorations. So I've got um, this candle, which is uh, sugared cinnamon, grateful fall. <laughs> And then um, these two fake plants, because I'm very good at killing plants. I'm not very good at looking after them. So um, I, these I think I got from, this one I got from Pound Stretch, which is I'm pretty sure a UK thing. And then uh, this plant I got from Ikea. But yeah, anything I can link, I will link down below. But then the next shelf, which is across from that, is um, like, I have two bookshelves by the way, so I'm going to go across. So I have the Dexter series, and then I have the Mortal Instruments and the Infertile Devices, and then I have Shadow Bone series. Then what do I have behind this? Oh, and then I've got um, Anna Todd's The Brightest Stars, but it's in German. <laughs> and then I have Heart Talk by Chloe Way, which is like a self-help book. And then I have two candles. I have Winter Spice, which is a Christmas one, and then this one. Oh, and then I have this one, which is also a fall one which is Belgian waffles, I think it's full, so yeah, that's that one, and then underneath that, this one's a bit more unorganised, because I had nowhere for this, so I've just normally put this one there, but I've just filmed a video, and that needs to come out of the packet, but on this shelf, so I have all of my Colleen Hoover books, I have reminders of him, oh let me move this, I have reminders of him, Layla, it ends with this, Ugly Love, uh, both of them so i have the uk cover and then i have the like normal cover please don't mind my nails are awful um i have november 9th verity confess and without merit then i have this box of shells that i got on my holiday and some gemstones then i have the after series i'm currently reading the first one for a vlog so it's not there but then i have after we collide it after with that after i have a happy and before with this shed out which i also got from holiday and then i have the movie covers of these books and then i'm gonna guess a book is missing from there but i just can't think of what one yet and then i have my penelope douglas books so i have bully but after girl uh, punk 57 and Credence, and I have this owl on top of that, and then I have the after graphic novel right there, and this candle kind of lavender fields. And then on the shelf across from that over here are m many of my colourful books, um, or just books that kind of go together. Originally, it was kind of going with like pinks, blues, but along the way, it's kind of been messed up. So, <laughs> um, here. I have The Unhoneymooners, The Two Lives of Lydia Bird, You and Me on Vacation, Beach Read, Final Girls, One Last Stop, My Dog Vanessa, Every Summer After, The Love Hypothesis, Love in the Brain, The In Between, Permanent Record, The Flat Share, The Hating Game, and then The Brown Sisters Trilogy, but backwards, which does kind of annoy me, but like I said, I was trying to do it in like colour order. Um, they both die at the end of the Spanish Love Deception. To all the boys I loved before series, the family upstairs. It happened one summer. The silent patient, one true love. Maybe in another life. Beautiful world, where are you? And then um, the happily ever after playlist, and then Guardian Temptation. 
And then I have this candle here and these two here. Then on the bottom shelf, see what I mean by my lights? How am I? I have this setup and I didn't know how to do the shelf originally, but I re I, last night I think I changed it up and I'm happy with it at the moment. So I have this picture of my dog and a plant here, but then I have this pile of books. So I've got Darling Venom, Room Hay, Step Brother Dearest, Him, Sweet Temptation, Bound by Vengeance, Fishes, Play Along, The Boy Who Sneaks in My Bedroom Window, and A Thousand Boy Kisses. Then I have the, what series is this called? Oh, I'm scared to touch it. Is it the Miles High series or something like that? Um, so I've got the Stopover, the Takeover, the Casanova, and the Doover. And then I've got the last series in the um, Balance series, I think it's called, Out of Balance, which recently came out. And I had to buy it. I don't have the rest of the balance series, but I do need to buy it. I really wanted to get this because it's all like the deleted scenes and stuff. Um, and so I thought, you know, that how fun. <laughs> and then on this part, I've got A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime, Ecomaniac, We Shouldn't, The Crush, Dirty Letters, Happily Letter After, and Hate Notes. If you notice, except for this book up here, it's all V Killens and Penelope Wards or their like duet books. And then I've got this candle here and an owl up there. Then on the shelf across from that, I have the Off Campus series and the Bri U series with this little sloth, which I love. So, yeah, those are all the books I have on there. I love the way it is. And I thought I want to keep those on, like, their own separate shelf, which I love. Then on the bookshelf underneath this, I have all, like, kind of my dark books or books that don't really have a place. So I have uh, Soulmates or my... Uh, like classics like Pride and Prejudice, Wuthering Heights, Sense and Sensibility and The Great Gatsby. Then I have um, the Dirty Air series, I'm currently reading the first one so that's why it's not there. Then I've got Archer's Voice, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, The Vincent Boys, Don't You Forget About Me, Normal People Conversation with Friends, Crooked Kingdom, Six and Crows, which I've put in the wrong way just a second ago because I saw them in a video. So I'm going to put that back in there. <laughs> then I have a uh, Beautiful Disaster, Walking Disaster, um, what's that one? Beautiful Wedding. The Midnight Library, Death of the Black Widow, The Dark Hours, and then these I borrowed from a family member. And then I have an owl ornament, a candle, and a flower. A flower? No, a plant. <laughs> and then on the shelf across from here, I have the Heartstopper series, There Is No Devil, There Is No Saints, The uh, Twisted Love, Twisted Games, Twisted Hate, Twisted Lies. Isn't this so annoying? So I got these and then when this one came out, I got I brought it and it's shorter than the rest of the series. That drives me crazy. I was so upset. But you know what? It's fine. I'm starting to get used to it a little bit. Then I've got Medicine Man, Dear Enemy, Make It Sweet, Sweet Dandelion, Hush Hush, Say Yes, Love Unexpected, Unconditional, I Touch of Darkness, Burnout, Bad Teacher, Blackout, The Fine Print, uh, Times and Conditions, Good, Girl Complex, The Soulmate Equation, and Josh and Hale Tools, Guys to Not Dating. Got this candle. Then on the shelf below this, I have some more books that didn't really have a place and some ornaments basically. And then on this shelf, I have, this is going to be hard to show you because I have a massive cookie case in there. But I have Co Soto is Back, Magpie Society, Moxie, The Fort in Our Stars, Three Sisters, Everything, Everything, 13 Reasons Why, Love, Simon, All the Bright Places, What Alice Knew. Then I have this candle and um, this pile of books. Not a Happy Family, I Made a Mistake, A Song for the Dark Times and One August Night. Then I have this bit and it's stop at nothing the guilty dead the noise me before you the bad boy and the tomboy the teacher we were lies stolen the killing words the kissing booth uh the beach house and the star wars book so that is the shelf these are like all my mis mainly mystery thrillers or kind of like books that don't really have a place <laughs> and then i have this last bottom shelf the shelf is just not used at the moment I have this shelf and I have all of kind of like my childhood books uh like these and then I have these ones that I brought on holiday <laughs> so 
I've got all of them. I even brought the Hunger Games. And then I've just got this friend's photo frame, which I have nothing to put in yet. So I've put it there. Okay, and then I have this shelf, which is a new addition to the family. <laughs> um, and I just have the Girl Online um, by Zoe So. What's the series actually called? I don't know, but it's Girl Online, Girl Online on Tour, Girl Online Growing Soda. I think it's Girl Online. They have this plant and picture. They have all my bookmarks here. I have many. This after picture that used to be on this bookshelf, but um, I moved it. Then I have the Twilight series, and then this shelf is just um, my old reading journal, basically. So yeah, that is the shelf. Oh, then these are just random like paperwork and stuff. So that is my bookshelf. I saw the weed bent over and I was afraid for no reason at all. The wind Okay everyone, so that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did please like and subscribe if you want, it's free and hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!